Well, we gave the um, so we gave the drug in, intravenously. Um, we injected it like over the space of about one half a minute, and then flushed um, the line with some sterile, you know, with some sterile salt water to empty out the line of any residual DMT. Um, we also drew blood samples through another intravenous line in the other arm. Uh, we checked blood pressure frequently. Uh, once people got involved in this study, um, we monitored core temperature by placing a, you know, thin flexible wire in the rectum, uh, you know, um, in order to really, you know, keep a very close eye on body temperature. Uh, we checked um, their pupil diameter. Uh, we really had these people completely wired for sound. Uh, I figured this was really a chance of a lifetime to look very carefully at all kinds of effects of this drug, and nobody had looked at it that carefully. Um, <clears throat> yes, uh, so we gave the drug intravenously over about a half a minute, uh, flushed the line with some sterile salt water, and people could, you know, a small n number of people were able to actually to feel the drug going up through their head, through their tongue. Um, they experienced a taste as it was going up from their vein up to through their chest into their head. Um, that wasn't that common, but some people did. And it was startling how fast people would say, or how quickly people would say, I can taste it. Um, and what, what usually happened, especially with the higher doses, is uh, you know, that they would start to feel the drug take effect. They would take a deep breath and then exhale. And they weren't aware of their exhalation. They didn't know that they had exhaled. It came on so quickly that um, between the inhalation and the exhalation, they were then transported into, you know, whatever it is or wherever it is that DMT leads people, especially in terms of the higher doses. Um, and so, so effects more or less began within five seconds, a couple of heartbeats. Um, you know, we, we did try and prepare people as best as possible, and that was another reason why we were glad to have experienced uh, psychedelic users, even though only a small, hand, a small number had ever used DMT before. It wasn't really that popular at the time.